it was a criminal activity. So it's the Nigerian police that is in part, you know, constitutionally to fully, fully unravel, you know, all of the events that happened. And you can see that it's been condemned at the highest level in our government. I personally standing up to condemn it, right? And to, you know, um, offer condolences to the family of um, citizen, you know, um, you know, uh, it's so unfortunate. It's really, really so unfortunate. Um, and I've seen several, you know, narratives, several write-ups about it. Some people being very extremely sensational, right? I mean, posting and saying that it's the state government, right, want to cover something. And even my person, you know, want to cover some. I, I think, you know, people treat their life alike and make it, you know, look at everything has to be. I don't want to score a team point. And I think the message will really should go to people like that. That they have no mind, that they have no consequence, and are coming with setting up a detail to such narrative. What we're about is to ensure that we transparently get to the root of it. And that's why the police, you know, and the, the Department of State Security were able to immediately, you know, pick the person. It was not in Lagos, it was in another state that had to have picked, you know, the individual. And I'm sure that. You know, the, 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 the Nigerian police will have the, the competence to be able to get us, you know, to the final conclusion and decide it. Whoever is found, is whoever you are, the full, you know, ground uh, of the law to be applied, you know, to such cases, I will ensure that something really does not repeat itself. And I think it's better for me to get